All right, guys, today we're going to dive into one. I have been meaning to get back around to this video for quite some time. I actually started a series a long time back about the different lens colors that were available and kind of what they could do for you in terms of benefits or why would you choose this lens versus the other. In fact, it's one of the videos I started the channel with in the very beginning. I think it was actually like week three or four I had been doing this and we went through and looked at a bunch of different base lens, a bunch of different mirrors, but uh, I mean, it was cool and it worked, but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. This needed to be its own full series, start to finish, go through with every lens, check it out in some different environments. Today, we actually go through and start that. We're gonna start with the gray lens because it's super easy. It's the one everybody knows and loves. You probably already know why you want it or you don't, and that's pretty much fine and all there is to it. But let's check it out. So for a gray lens, kind of the goal and the whole point of having a gray lens is something that remains very color neutral. You'll hear me fight about this all the time because gray is, <laughs> uh, it's a lovely area that we all love to play in, especially the lawyers, right? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. With sunglasses, it can be anything from a gray green to a gray blue and occasionally a gray red, but that's usually more of a tinting error than anything. Now, that's not to say you can't get it, but more often than not, it's overheat, overused dye, and it needs replaced. And that was an oopsie, but oh, look, it's cool. Uh, 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 yeah. So gray lenses like these, the whole point is to keep it really, really color neutral. Just give you basically a flat blocking of light, right? You don't wanna shift any particular part of the spectrum. You need something that remains neutral. You want greens to stay the way they are. You want reds to stay the way they are. You don't want blues highlighted. You don't want browns or greens to really jump and scream out. That's what your gray lenses are for. Outdoors, that's kind of advantageous. Just if you're in a lot of different situations and scenarios. So it's easy to grab your gray sun lenses and check them out in a lot of different situations. You'll see it's gonna stay pretty, pretty neutral in most circumstances. Really the intent of the gray lens is just to darken things without causing a color shift. It increases comfort. It's good for protection in bright light. It isn't really gonna do anything special like other lenses. Again, there's lots of different color lenses. You're gonna have a lot of different uses for all the others. We'll get into that as we get into them. Don't worry, I'm trying to stay on focus and on task and I have not had any caffeine today. So we might go down some rabbit holes, but bear with me, it's gonna be worth it. I, I'm not making promises. It might not be worth it. So with that gray lens, you're going to essentially, for the people that are familiar with photography and light and how all that works, you're gonna take a situation from say an EV 1516, which is the environmental light value, right? You're gonna drop it down in a little bit more than half. Ideally, you're gonna bring it down to a more comfortable seven, eight, six, five, depending on the darkness of the lens. You can combine those grays with mirrors and now you can start fluctuating that spectrum a little bit to fine tune it for certain things. Now, we're gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna come back to that at the end after we've gone through all the different colors. Remember, today, gray. Then we'll do another color, we'll do another color, and we'll keep going through colors, and then we will go back and we'll start all over with those colors plus mirrors. And this could take a while. <laughs> so your grays outdoors are good. In lighter tints, they're good indoors, because again, it stays color neutral. And when I say lighter, I am talking significantly lighter. I'm talking less than 20% tint. So you still have 80% of light transmitted through the lens. If you are a big tint guy and familiar with that from cars, it's the opposite. So in optical, we will speak in terms of visible or uh, the actual tint percentage. In most automotive forms, you're speaking in visible light transmittance. So your five is super dark, 
My five is super, super light. You can't even see there's a 10 there. In fact, on that note, most clear lenses without an anti-reflective coating already block about 5% of light because it bounces off and around in the lens. So there's that for you. Now, why would you choose a gray lens over the others? Well, for starters, you don't have others. This is gonna be your one pair. You really can't stretch the budget and get into others. You're gonna use it all the time in a wide range of circumstances. Just go gray. It's a great choice. You know, a good possible alternative is green. The greens are really good. They're gonna enhance color a little bit more for you, but they're still pretty usable without making too much wonkiness. And in fact, a lot of your grays, and the reason I mentioned green at all here, I said no tangents, right? So a lot of your grays will actually have a little bit of green in them. So the most common, you're gonna be like a G15, which is, yeah, it blocks 85% of the light and 30% is green of that. So it's not full gray lens and AOs, green I have around here somewhere, kind of falls into that category. In fact, it's so freaking gray that it looks gray to the camera. I can't even do anything about that. That's just supposed to be a green lens, by the way. And that's why I say that there are a wide range of grays. To me, that's gray at the end of the day. It is not a green lens. Um, yeah, a true green lens, much more vivid. It's gonna have much more punch to it. It's usually not gonna be quite as dark. And yeah, that looks kind of blue because of the purple over there. And I can't make it show up anywhere that that's actually green. So I'm gonna have to figure out the lighting a little bit when we go to green. So that's kind of the take on green. We'll run through a few different scenarios here with the gray lenses. So you can see for yourself what that actually looks like. Say in a city, out in an open area, I'll, I'll try and get a couple of different good ones in here. We'll tag those on through the end of the video so you don't have to listen to me keep blabbering. And you can just scroll through and see each of those chapter sections. Now, I'm gonna leave you to those videos. Check it out, have fun, see what you think of wearing a gray lens, if that's the lens for you. Personally, and this is a little bit of a tangent, I said choose gray for your first pair. I personally wear almost all browns, varying shades of browns with different mirrors. I don't even think I have a gray, I have one gray pair in my collection and it's got a blue mirror, so it's more warm shifted anyways. It might as well be a brown lens. Oh, the things we do to ourselves. We've got a green somewhere. No, no, hmm. Yeah, you don't care about my ramblings anymore. You're gonna go check out the videos and see what the gray looks like in different situations. Now, keep in mind, every manufacturer's gray is gonna be a little bit different and every camera is gonna be a little bit different. So we'll play, we'll have fun. This isn't an end all be all, but a good guideline of what the starting facts are. So check it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Or if I'm just an absolute idiot, feel free to say that below too. I know some people do anyways. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.